Hi, my name is Claudia, and today I'll be taking you through a really efficient but effective neck release sequence. This is something you can do right before your yoga practice to prepare. Personally, I use it when I've been sitting at a desk for a long time, or at the end of a long work day, or before bed, just to release tension and get back in my body. And it's quick enough that you can really insert into any point in your day. So in order to begin, I'd like you to just come into a hands and knees position. We'll just start off with some really simple cat-cow. So place your wrists right underneath your shoulders and bring your knees right underneath your hips, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Start with a neutral spine and a neutral gaze. So just gazing down between your hands. Starting out with cat-cow, we wanna move with the breath. So please exhale and round your back. Kind of slope your tailbone down toward the floor. Gaze right into your belly and pull your middle back up to the sky. And then inhale, start to draw the collarbones back, make a U shape with your spine. Shine the tailbone up to the sky and gaze up as far as it's comfortable for your neck. And then exhale, push down into the mat with your palms, your knees, the tops of the feet, and again, gaze into the navel. And inhale, a nice long, smooth breath. Draw the shoulders back, heart moves forward. Again, that U shape in the spine, shine the tailbone to the sky. Exhale, just start to really find the range of motion in your body. We're just beginning our movement, so just warming things up, noticing how you feel. Inhale. Gazing all the way up. Good, exhale, round the back. And inhale, gaze up. Just breathing through the nose. And last exhale, push all the air out of the body. And I'm gonna come back to a neutral gaze, gazing right between the thumbs, shoulders back. And I'll sit back onto my heels, just coming into hero pose with the knees together. This is uncomfortable for your knees. You can easily be in an easy pose, which is more like crisscross applesauce. Or if you have any knee issues, just practice this with your legs ahead of you, just in a seated position. So in the beginning, we just wanna to start to feel the range of motion we have in our neck. Don't go crazy here. Just really notice how you're feeling in your neck. Notice where you're feeling any stiffness. So we'll just do some neck rolls here. Hands on the knees. I recommend you close your eyes and really tune in to how you're feeling. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your jaw is soft. Start by really drawing your chin down toward your chest and feeling a stretch in the back of the neck. Then draw your right ear towards your right shoulder and notice a little stretch on the left side. I want you to safely roll your head back, looking up, but again, just nice and gentle. Good, and then drop your left ear over towards your left shoulder, feel the stretch on the right side of your neck, and then allowing the chin to come down to the chest. Good, go at your own pace, nice and slow, just going in this direction two more times. If you feel a little bit of crunchiness in your neck, anything like that, again, don't push too far, but you wanna feel a little bit of a release happening. And then one more time, nice and easy. Notice if you're hunching your shoulders when you do this, if this is bringing tension into the body, if that's the case, just don't go quite as deep in the range of motion. Good, and when you're ready, just switch directions. This time, left ear towards left shoulder. Allow the head to roll back. Nice, keeping the jaw relaxed. Right ear towards right shoulder and chin forward. Again, two more at your own pace. Make sure to keep steady with the breath in and out through the nose. If you find you're rushing through any point, just notice that you're rushing and instead try and slow it down just in that little spot right there. If it feels tense, if there's pain, please don't go any further. Just take it easy. If it feels a little tense, just try and breathe through it. Good. And then coming back to a neutral position, gazing forward, we'll start with a little side stretch here. So again, try to make sure your sits bones are pretty much planted on your heels or on the mat, whichever position you're in. Place your right hand right next to your right hip. Your palm can be flat or up on fingertips. Starting with a side stretch, I'd like you to bring your left arm up and over. My palm is reaching more toward the floor, not facing the ceiling. Initially, just getting a side stretch here. To intensify this, you kind of work to your flexibility. I'd like you to push a little bit down into your bottom right hand and allow the left rib cage to sort of pooch out to the left until you feel a little arc from your left hip to your left fingertips. If it feels safe for you, try to gaze up towards your left bicep, just nice and gentle. You should feel a little stretch. Again, if you feel any pain, just ease up. Push a little more firmly into the right hand. Keep your sits bones connected to the mat. 
or to your heels. Stretch to the side, allow the left rib cage to move to the left. Go ahead and then to come out, bring your spine back to neutral, left hand to left hip, same thing here. Put a little pressure in the left hand, bring your right arm up and over. Take some time here. You wanna find that sweet spot where you're feeling a stretch, you're feeling a little release, but you're not holding tension in your neck or your jaw. That might mean you're not going 100%. Just a little bit here and stay with the breath. Go ahead, reach one more time. Make sure you're not hunching your left shoulder, so draw the left shoulder down away from the air. Again, try and gaze up if you can. Go ahead and come back to center. Uh, going for a little deeper neck stretch now, I'd like you to interlace all 10 fingers behind your back. If you can have your palms open, great. Palms can also be together and work to your flexibility. The first thing we'll do is wrap our hands around the right side of our midsection here. You might not be able to get them all the way around the ribs, that's just fine, but just go to your range of motion. And if you're going so far, again, you're hunching your shoulders, ease up on how far you go. Good, shoulders down, pull the belly in gently here. And this time we'll go for a longer hold with the stretch. So draw your right ear towards your right shoulder until you feel a stretch along the left side of your neck. You might feel it up into your jaw. You might feel it in your shoulder on the front or the back of the shoulder. But just until you're feeling a stretch, we'll just hold here for a few cycles of breath. Breathe easily in and out through the nose. Again, if you feel comfortable closing your eyes, feel free. It's nice to tune in, especially if you're, a lot, if you're prone to holding a lot of tension in your neck. These can feel a little bit intense. Notice if you're hunching your shoulders, draw them down. Try to keep your belly pulled in so you're feeling some support. Good. We're going to take this a little bit further. I'd like you to switch your gaze. Nothing else changes. Just start to switch your gaze down towards your right hip. So chin towards your right shoulder until you feel a stretch across your ceilings, the side of your neck. And again, you might feel it deep into your shoulder. Staying here, just gazing down towards your right hip. Find your breath. If it's challenging to find full breaths here, just do your best to find the fullest breath you can in this posture. Go ahead and just come back to center. Nice neutral neck here. Just gonna switch sides, so please bring your hands over to the left side of your body. Notice if your traps are punched, pull them down, and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. It's not uncommon that you feel a little tighter on one side versus the other. That's okay, just simply try and keep your practice as symmetrical as possible on each side. Take some time here. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep your core strong. Notice if your weight has shifted to the right or to the left. Try to keep your body nice and central. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Good, and then switch the gaze down to the left hip. Good, just until you feel that stretch across the right side of your neck. You might feel across your collarbone. Try not to tense your jaw. Relax your jaw, keep your lips sealed, and just breathe through the nose. deeper on the exhale. Go ahead and just come back to center. Gazing forward, keeping your hands in a lace. Just reach down to the floor behind you, just a very mini back bend here. Good. Don't just go cranking on the neck, just start to lift the gaze instead. Draw your knuckles toward the ceiling, draw your shoulders back, lift your heart to the sky. Look up as much as you can, but again, don't drop the head back. Just nice and easy here. Good, and then just come back to center. Little counter posture here, bring your hands over your knees. And then gently drop your chin toward the chest, but this time pull your navel in, just like that cat spine we did in the beginning of the class. Pull your middle back away from you, so you're just rounding here, hands in front of the knees. Good, and then coming into cactus arms. So then you're gonna lift your arms up, Elbows the same height as your shoulders, palms facing forward. Try to draw your elbows back far enough until you feel a stretch across the top of your chest. You can even peel the backs of your hands back a little bit until you feel a little stretch. Take a breath in, and out, and then open up the arms nice and wide. Keep the belly pulled in, gaze up, trying to open your heart to the sky. 
and then we'll just round forward to where we began. So hands in front of the knees, chin to chest. Exhale. And then inhale, cactus arms. Open up the chest. Open up the arms, gaze up. And then just round forward, hug the navel in on the exhale. Inhale, cactus arms. Make sure you feel the stretch across your chest. Open up the arms. And exhale, round forward. Just two more. Inhale, open up. Straighten the arms. And round forward, hug the navel in. Start to exaggerate that arc in the spine. Last one, big inhale. Stay supported. But open up the arms, just like you're coming in for a hug. Round forward. And then just stay there for a moment. Find your breath nice and easy. And we'll come right into our last one. Bring the gaze forward nice and neutral with the neck. This one you can do with your hips on the mat or we can lift the hips. I'll show you initially with just hips on the mat. Place your right hand right behind your right foot. And this is just a little bit of a twist. You want to put a little weight in your hand. This time reach up and over with the left hand, gazing over to the right side of the room. Try not to hunch your right shoulder. Push down into the right hand. Really reach back. Again, if you've got the flexibility, if you feel like your body's just sort of craving it, I want you to lift your hips up, turn this into a back bend, reach back, stretch back. Feel a stretch all the way from your left knee, left hip, left ribs, all the way through the left arm. And then come on down, bring your hips down if you lifted them, and just switch sides, left hand behind left hip. Right arm reaches up and over. Find a nice neutral gaze here, not looking up, not looking down, and over to the left side of the room. If you feel the stretch here, great, stay here. If you did on the other side, lift the hips up. As you drive the hips up, put pressure in your left hand, but keep your left shoulder down away from the ear. Again, looking for that line of energy from your right knee, right hip, all the way through the right shoulder and fingertips. Nice, and sink the hips down if you lifted them. Hands down by your sides, just take a moment here. Shoulders soft, jaw relaxed. <sighs> And I invite you to bring your left hand over your heart, your right hand just below the navel. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. And just feel your breath, feel your heartbeat underneath your hand. And just take a moment, make sure your jaw is soft, your face is soft. You just put a little bit of space in your body. Maybe it's just a little tiny bit, maybe you felt a lot of movement, whatever it is. Take a moment, let your body assimilate that. Notice it, be present with it. Sometimes we can notice the tendency to want to hunch your shoulders or bring tension back in the body. Stay with the breath. And let that move through you. Let that pass. Just settling into this newfound space. Take a big inhale. And exhale, release. as long as you need. Thanks for joining us today. Namaste.